All right. Are we are we almost uh, settled? Find a seat. <laughs> Great. Hi, everyone. It's really a, a great, great pleasure to be here tonight. Um, there's prob probably no living architect um, that continues to influence students as much as Kazuyo Sejima and her work with SANA. In every research project, every precedent analysis, whether typological, programmatic, material, scalar, technological, experiential, or conceptual, there's somewhere a SANA project. Whether reinventing the ground, reinventing the spine, the roof, the diagram, transparency, lightness, thinness, structure, nature, pattern, or mechanical systems, the work of Sana and Sejima is always there, either opening up new territory or finally bringing to perfection a long line of disciplinary explorations. With a set of highly personal modes of representation, the ethereal line drawing, the surreal white, the black figures, the half-scale models, the work of Sana has become iconic in architectural schools all over the world. Just to say a few words about Sejima's remarkable trajectory, in 1987, following her architectural studies at the Japan Women's University and early work with architect Toyo Ito, Sejima formed her own firm, Kazuyo Sejima and Associates. In 1995, three years after being named Japan's 1992 Young Architect of the Year, she joined with Nishizawa to establish the Tokyo-based firm Sana. Nearly a decade later, the practice came to world attention with the 21st Century Museum of Contemporary Art in Kanazawa, for which her, the, par her, the partners won the Golden Lion at the 2004 Venice Architecture Biennale. In 2010, Sana wins the Pritzker Prize, and that same year, the Seminal Roller, Rolex Learning Center is opened to great acclaim, and Sejima is appointed as the first woman director of the Architecture Venice Biennale. The title for the exhibition, People Meet in Architecture, is one that I often found myself enlisting in my architecture studios. Like the work, the sentence simplicity, succinctness, and extreme clarity seemed to trigger a real understanding of what architecture might possibly be or aspire to be for my students. As Venice Biennale President Paolo Baratta remarked at the time, Sejima comes back to an idea of architecture where functions, relations, and the division of space are what matters. Her pared-down architecture is so functional, it's, it's lyrical. Sana's other groundbreaking works include New York's new Museum of Contemporary Art, the Serpentine Gallery Pavilion in London, and louvre lan an extension of the Louvre Museum in the Nord-de-Calais region of France. Among Sana's many current projects are Grace Farms in Connecticut, which I'm really looking forward to seeing tonight, um, the Bizal Academy of Arts and Design in Jerusalem, and the recently completed Shibaro House in Tokyo. Sejima, as we know, has lectured extensively at leading universities around the world, and it's really a great honor to have her here tonight as our first lecturer for the semester. And it's a great honor for me personally um, to welcome uh, Sejima tonight uh, uh, in my uh, capacity as, as dean of the school. Sejima, welcome. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you very much for inviting me, uh, me here. I, it is my pleasure to be here tonight again. Since long time, I didn't have a chance to have a lecture here, so I couldn't select a few works, and I decided to explain a lot of projects tonight. <laughs> I like to explain 12 projects, and the star, I will start from EPFL Lorex Learning Center, and we'll conclude the Grace Farm project. The EPFL completed the end of 2009, and Grace Farm started from 
2010. So that means roughly the, uh, this uh, tonight, I like to focus five years practice. And uh, this, these five years, this is very strongly related to the today's theme, uh, canopy. Uh, because the originally, the, from the beginning, I'm very interested in to make a gathering space. And sometimes, often, I often use the word, the park, and I also often explain, I like to say, I like to make a space like a park, because the park uh, where the people, the different type of people can stay together, and the people who belong to the different generation or the who has a different aim but stay uh, same public place. And also at the same time people can make own privacy in the public place. And also people can make own comfortable space in the public space. For example, some elder man can have a own time quietly in the park, and beside him, there is a very loud uh, children's group with mother also playing there. And always people, I think, so that means that many different type, different people can stay together and can make own space or can spend their own time. But at the same time, always people can feel sharing the space with other people and also spend the uh, time together. This is uh, my image of the park, and uh, this is uh, my basic, uh, maybe the image of the uh, sp building space, what, which I like to make. So, and the, the today, the, but the, uh, so then the, from the beginning almost, 30 years has passed, and always I try to achieve this type of space. Sometimes I focus especially structure, or sometimes in between space, sometimes material. For example, the glass of layers, or the very thin plate, and try to make good relation, or smooth good relation between inside and outside, or the building, between building and environment. And, uh, but, uh, just uh, at the end of 2009, I, I completed this project. I realized I need more direct, concrete connection between building and environment or surroundings. That's why after that, the, I started to struggle to building to open more directly to the surroundings and uh, that is uh, the, uh, my starting point to use canopy. Sometimes not exactly canopy, but the things has some similar character and try to use this type of character to bring to the design of a building. So I hope, so I, tonight I like to show this process and trial. The, this is a, so, this is the uh, EPFL Rolex Learning Center, and uh, of course also the, my very most interesting or the uh, point is try to make the gathering space in also this building. And EPFL, maybe many people know, so it's a big university, and in front of the EPFL there is a site, and you know the EPFL like to have a kind of uh, new learning space and uh, our proposal is the new learning space is maybe the space where the people can gather very frequently and to have opportunity to have uh, to meet different people uh, to the people who learn the different uh, things and uh, uh, and uh, it's so that instead of uh, many floors, but we propose a one-story building, but it's a very big, big building. So if the one-story building sit on the uh, ground, people can approach everywhere, but only can touch the, the edge of the building. So that's why we found the solution to 
bring up some part from the ground and then people can approach to the center of the building. The, this is a diagram, so there is uh, the, some uh, the shell and there is also the shell and everywhere the people can approach this building and automatically invite the center of the building though this is a one-story building. And also, of course, possible people just can pass from the city to the existing campus. And so there is a center, there is the one entrance, and also inside, that means that there are two hills, and the two hills divided one big space to three parts. And So the people approach uh, the, under the slab, but the some parts is going up, so you can th uh, walk through, but at the same time some part coming down and to touch the ground and to invite you to enter this building. This is the model. Mm, there are two hills which, uh, which are tunnel, so you can pass to go to the, ex the campus, and also you can approach this building from everywhere, and there is a one ent main entrance, also, and the three, two hills divide three zones, and uh, there are cafe or food court, and the students, uh, or the, uh, the office, or the bookshop, and there are the small hill, there are the multi-purpose space, and there is another hill, and the back, back there, the library, and also the top, the front, the highest place, there the restaurant, you can see the rake, and then also behind there the research center, also administration, and the group's space. And uh, this is the main entrance, but at the same time you can approach to the research center from here or the office, or you can approach the multi-purpose space from here, or the to directly to go to the food court. So this building uh, may, I think that the, it's a huge building, but everyone can walk freely. And, and the interesting point is for us is <clears throat> because of the structure move and uh, the floor and the seating move basically the parallelly, so that it's a huge one-room space, but you cannot see the uh, whole space at once. The, if you are here, you can see only here, but you go up top of the hill, and then you can see the bottom of the hill, and also the next hill, but the ceiling coming down, so that you cannot see the whole, you can see only here. So that the sense is it's a one big space and you can only feel the continuity of the space, but you cannot see the edge of the space and along the, your movement, always a space appear around you. This is a kind of one of a solution to make kind of space. So the peop many people can stay together, but also the people can find their own space. But the, so this is the interior, and, uh, and uh, if I say a little bit explain, the every three, the one movable window and three fix, and then, uh, every time the, the, these windows opened, uh, the, if the temperature increased, uh, the, this automatically the window <coughs> open and the, this building get the cold air from the lake and uh, also the highest point there are uh, openings and throw away the hot uh, air. So basically this building doesn't have any air conditioning just the, around the, uh, the courtyard there is some floor heating. And this also, so from inside, I think that this space can sit together with the surroundings. But uh, 
the problem happened that this is uh, going down, this is a, that, more. the food court, and uh, this is the food court, and you see the, also the small <coughs> hill, and uh, ab uh, behind the small hill, there's a big multi-purpose space, and uh, this is the big courtyard, and kind of uh, the, this building the, we try to <coughs> mix the interior activities and also the with the surrounding the environment but uh, one problem happened w when we tried to design the landscape and we tried to plant the trees but uh, we couldn't because it's very difficult to find a place to plant, plant plant the trees around the building. And then I realized this is uh, the interior, somehow I feel the, some uh, continuity to the, outs <coughs> the outside or surroundings, but uh, this building itself sits very strongly. And this is the starting point of these five years. And uh, we, this is uh, so the, the Serpentine Gallery, we think that try not to make a building just uh, one big mass, but try to bring the kind of canopy-like, or sometimes roof, or sometimes a divided the volume to have a to few volumes, and try to more bring that opportunity the building has a direct communicate to the surroundings. So this is a, the, the Serpentine Gallery. This is the floating between the trees, and also we define the height according the relation to the out, uh, the point. For example, the front go to the big road, and roof gradually go up, and also back to go to the gallery gradually go down, and some part become very low. And then also we use the material reflective, and then always show the surroundings and try to uh, blend the building to the surroundings. And you see that from the outside, that's from the street. And also this is another project. Last year we did the installation in Sharjah, also in the city center of the old city. We asked to make a kind of the resting space for the people and instead of uh, canopy, but also not use the column and roof, but try to make this type of space using the, uh, this uh, sphere, the acrylic sphere, and, uh, and to make this, and then this, of course, daytime transparent doesn't work to shade, <laughs> but gradually the late afternoon people can stay around in between the, this. And also, this is the housing project in Kyoto. Also, the Kyoto has a regulation and asked some uh, slope roof. And this project contains 10 apartments. And each one size is around 65 to 70 square meter. And uh, I... So this is the plan, so at the end I decided every house use three roofs. And, but the last third one shared with neighbors. Uh, so that means uh, every little bit become very complicated. But I, my intention is, because this area asked to make a grave, 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 graves. No, no. Grave. Huh? Grave. <laughs> roofs. <laughs> and, but uh, it's, uh, you make a one big roof, it's very big along, uh, compared to surrounding. So I divided uh, the around uh, 25, and then uh, as a total, uh, try, I tried to make one shape, one big shape, but 
each one divided, and uh, also the uh, every house has three roofs, and uh, every house has so the. For example, this is one roof. Uh, this is the smallest house. It's like this: one, two, three, and third one shared with next one. And enter the courtyard. This is a with roof, kind of canopy, and then dining room and small room and the loft, and there is a tatami space. And uh, so then also the some garden. So also the in the basement because the road is gradually come down. So that there is another entrance to the parking. So from parking, every house can be approachable. And there are four courtyards without roof. This is shared by the few houses. And then also everyone, every house can approach from the surroundings. And every house has the, so the terrace with roof and the garden without roof and some spaces. So this is the idea. So that these are the without roof courtyards, the approach from the, uh, the basement and shared by the few houses. And also that there is a main entrance zone around the building. Around. <coughs> and this is, a, the before there is a big Japanese house, so I kept this, <laughs> the rock, and there is an entrance to the parking and this type of, so the one house entrance and the, the courtyard with roof and then tatami room and there is another room. And this is for the entrance and then the dining and the bedroom and bathroom. And also there is a one room tatami space around there. So always the, everyone uh, has a privacy, but if you go see up, you can see the other roof. So always you can feel neighborhood. And this is And also this is a small lecture hall in the local university. The Junko Fukutake Hall, the she like to have uh, some relation, uh, make a re relation between the university and the citizen. And uh, she decided she uh, like to donate the lecture hall and uh, so the citizen have a chance to hear the professor at some lecture and also the professor or students have an opportunity to have a uh, some conversation with a city citizen, and that that is the she her aim and also the professor's uh, uh, aim. So and uh, so this is a plan. So in the local university, they don't because they have a big hall, so they don't need a big hall but he, they prefer to have a casual uh, summer lecture hall. So near from the gate, the, the uh, use a dip very different way. So that this is a s small hall for the 250, maximum 300. And there is 100 seat and there are 50. And uh, there are curtains, so sometimes use the dividedly or some small uh, conversation used here or here. Sometimes a big uh, the, uh, lecture or something is using like this. And so that means that depends. And also outside we put the canopy and all we, every, uh, always uh, p student also can use the these spaces that if nothing happened. And uh, our idea is the auditorium forum made by the uh, shape of the uh, gathering people. I mean, the people come to the, some 
event, people come to 500 auditorium, you come like this. But sometimes only this, only this, or divided three parts. This is the so the auditorium made by the the number of the how the use of the uh, the auditorium, the event, and this is the outside, and this is the. And this is a small part. Now that the, the, the movable door are closed and a very small 50 people's place. And this is 200, maximum 300, and then sometimes also the concert happens. And if the biggest case is, this is a 200, oh. Two hundred or three hundred, and this is one hundred. This is fifty, and the curtain come like this and become forty, hundred fifty audit seat auditorium. <coughs> and so this again, also this is a canopy, and instead of the. One big building contained the 450-seat auditorium, but try to divide smaller parts and to be connected freely. And also, this is one small library in suburbia of Tokyo. The, it's a residential area, and uh, I propose in, in because before this is a new. Building. I mean, the, oh, there there was the old li small library, and then this is a the new. Uh, no, it became very old. So the instead of three stories big build big, I mean, the, compared to the housing, I try to make uh, smaller pieces, and this is the model. And. Uh, now, the before this building, the three stories, the library uh, was standing. But and I, my idea is ground floor divided a few parts, and then the normally the library has some lounge space where people can read the newspaper or a magazine. And but I bring this space the corner and also the this is a communal kind this is used for the also communal space and they need the cooking space and also making a poet, uh, ceramics so this too i put in the garden small garden and try to uh, give this space a con the possibility to extend the outside and the, oh, and then the first floor, the ground floor and first floor, gradually be connected. This is the library for the children. This is the first floor, so the also from lounge can go up and gradually connected. And under here is a tunnel, so that means. And the top, even. Um, this is a ground floor and oh, first floor, ground floor, first floor, and top. And this is a space for elder people. And so that means the divide spread in the garden and try to connect and try to make s uh, more simple space as much as possible on the top. And this is a kind of the tunnel people can move in the uh, building and to the uh, uh, garden. And this is under construction. It will complete in maybe two, three months. And this is the ground floor, and there is a one space here, and one space here, and this is a tunnel, and this will be connected. These two are connected and become one space in the, on the upper level. And this is the... Hmm, First floor, and, and this, and this is the roof, and this is the kind of perspective, and this is the outside the perspective. <laughs> and this next two is the 
that uh, project which we are now designing process. And this is uh, Art Academy Bezalel in Jerusalem. And this is the old city and not very near from the old city, the, the site. And this is the city hall and this is now museum and this is closed area. It's not public, the people cannot enter. And the, the Russian church. Oh. And then the, the city like to uh, make some public space. So uh, city thinks, thinks maybe the art uh, academy is a, a nice place. People sometimes that it's open to, it's maybe possible to open to the public. So then. And uh, Bezzarel started from uh, the city, but gradually became very big and moved to suburbia of the city, and now they come back again, the city. And uh, our idea is this is the slopes along the slope, and there is a place and to make a lot of shape, because Israel is, the Jerusalem is very hot, also have a very strong sunshine, so we need a shading area, and also we try to make, it's a huge uh, the academy, but try to make continuity to the topography, and also in, not only inside, but also outside, our aim is to be used as a exhibition space, and people can also can use the circulation outside. Uh, because of the church, this part uh, should be very low, and then the, there are many departments, and each department has one cluster, and, uh, but uh, there are many gaps, and then the between gap, people can see each other, and there are the circulation inside. And uh, so this is uh, circulation, and then also the inside circulation, and also the, this, uh, there are a lot of terrace, and also the outside is uh, also terrace, but also used for the uh, circulation. So that is uh, the, on the terrace, the, the green area, and rest used for the uh, exhibition area, and a lot of circulation outside. and. Uh, even the very big building, but always people can understand the size of the space and also can un notice the relation between different programs. And also one more uh, university, we are now almost finished the design development phase, is uh, Bocconi in Milano. And, uh, there is uh, already the campus here and next to the existing campus they make a new campus and this, but the city asked uh, uh, roughly half used, should use for the public park. And uh, also there is a big gymnasium, this open also to the park, uh, the public. And there is, it's become now lower, but it's a dome for the students and professor, and there are offices and uh, master course, uh, and also this is executive course. And the uh, idea is the because of the Milano uh, city made by the the kind of middle story, the also blocks, and a lot of the concert inside. But we try to follow this uh, the way, but bring the curve and try to make more park-like uh, feeling together with a real public park. And uh, also we try to make political, but that means some kind of canopy. And people can also, some part is open to the public and some part is for the students, but always the political 
make a space to connect the city and the university or connect public park and the university visually or sometimes physically. And so this is uh, the, the public park and the recreation center and these are the building. And uh, every uh, building has own courtyard and but at the same time also together with the next the building there is another courtyard and ground floor there is a uh, portico and this is uh, so the is classes and core and offices and this is uh, the offices and then courtyard and also this makes a courtyard and then to see the another courtyard. And the ground floor, like this, is sometimes uh, the completely open, but sometimes uh, with uh, space, with political and people, you see the public space. And this is the existing uh, Bocconi campus, and uh, this become a new, next new campus of the Bocconi. And also, oh. huh? Next one is a uh, home for all the project, uh, which the five architects started the, for the uh, earthquake tsunami, and then the now ten and almost ten finished, completed, and another five are going on, and still we are continuing. But a uh, uh, lot of companies from abroad and also the some uh, pri some person support us, and then the many architects uh, made the, this type of gathering space. And uh, just so I explain what I uh, related. I did. This is uh, architects is young. Chinese young architects. This is under the Rolex program. I, as a kind of advisor, and we did with Japanese young architects help him and to make together the next to the seaside. And there are before the villages, and but all gone, and uh, they need some communal space because the fishermen spend a very lot of time in the this area. For example, the husband went to the go to goes to the fishing early morning, one o'clock, and come back. For example, four o'clock, and then the wife is waiting and to help to uh, move to the uh, fisher market or next place and. So the, and then the husband have some rest and then go back again for another fishing. So these are the kind of the, uh, the center of the communal space of the fisherman. And so that's why the elder man come to here to get some information or sometimes after school children come to try to find the parents. So. This is so that, that they prefer the uh, bigger roof and because the budget is very limited, so sometimes this space becomes a small fish, fish market and sometimes the event space and some, also there is some small interior space. And this is the opening ceremony. <laughs> and this also, that next to is Sana Did. The, basically, the site is two places, generally. One is a uh, beach, because before, also, there is 50 uh, family who are living, but all gone. So now the, there is temporary houses. So the one site is uh, next to the temporary house that to work for the kind of living space for everyone. And so another one is... Uh, because anyway, fish salmon uh, go back to the sea, so there is another site is next to the sea. And this 
is a very beautiful. So the, we made two home for all in the very, very beautiful islands. And uh, this is the islands, and then this is show the process, the, the meeting with the fishermen, and uh, one is uh, uh, this, is also limited uh, site. Basically, we decided around the 30 square meter inside, but this case is uh, the roof company came and like to support the project so that, that they make a big roof. <laughs> and uh, so this, every home for project, a small kitchen and one toilet and some small uh, gathering space and uh, this is a chimney. Um, every we decided try to make uh, every uh, small space. Maybe it's nice have a chimney to get warm. And uh, this is uh, this, um, and also the this is. And uh, because of the, this is the next to the school, so after school the student also come and to join. And this is another one just <coughs> beside the sea. Also the everything, uh, this area gone. And uh, before there is also one space for the fishermen, so they also want to have a gathering space. The, in this case also inside they said the small is fine, but instead they want to have bigger space. Um, so sometimes fishermen works here, but this is a small, small fish, uh, fisherman's place, but also already you say that have a very beautiful beach. So summertime this year, the many people come back and also to spend the time, also share the time under this roof. Mm, next one is the <coughs> Inujima project. Uh, is in the this I started from seven years ago, and Naoshima is a very famous uh, with Anders Museum, and this island is not so far from. Uh, Naoshima and same area, and the client is same. The client like to vitalize this area by art. And this uh, island, the character, special character, is really small, uh, small uh, island. And uh, <coughs> average age is now the 80, and uh, people, 50 people uh, are living, and uh, there are so many empty houses, and so we started to rent, borrow rent, the empty house and to renovate the gallery. So the, the finally we found this space, this space, and uh, this space, ah, this space, and this space, this space, and this space. And uh, the, for example, EPFL, the first project EPFL size is like this. So this village is kind of a bigger architecture scale. And this is the first one. The, it uh, was the beginning very difficult for me how to make. And first I thought to make, because of this become a gallery, so maybe new, because and every, uh, uh, space has some distance, and I worry that people can feel some continuity to make one as works as a one museum. But uh, so fast, I thought maybe every new building should be just white box. <coughs> but the gradually, uh, I accustomed to this island, and then maybe. The final decision is try to use the material as much as possible, if, if possible. And but if not, I decided not to make a wooden building, but try to bring the new materials, which is plexiglass or aluminium. And the first one is a good condition, so I use the old wood, 
and this is a good condition, but uh, this is uh, slow, the broken, so I move this building to the center and uh, to use that, so from here to move here, and then to use the existing the structure as much as possible and also roof, but the exterior wall or interior wall, I add, uh, I use new uh, wood. And uh, because of the before, there are many walls works for the earthquake, but I renovate to the gallery, so I took away the walls, and then I need something, so I add two courtyards to work for the uh, earthquake. And this uh, island is a very famous of stone, so, and also that of slope, so I add also stone and try to uh, uh, not only renovation of the, this building, but also surroundings. And this is, so that means I took away all the uh, walls, become very empty, transparent space. And uh, always uh, artists show the something, always uh, people enjoy the art with the surroundings. And this is the old structure and try to use the similar color, new uh, the material for the uh, wall. And, and I want to make a building not looks like new, but not looks like old. I try to reduce the difference between new and old material as much as possible. This is courtyard. And now the <coughs> Nawa is showing his art. Uh, this gallery is a temporary gallery and very, very slowly it will be changed. And so this is an uh, empty house, and then the, the, this is uh, already the existing stone wall, so I add stone wall here, and also in the here, the very small difference between the road and the site is 20 centimeters. I also show add uh, also stone. And gradually enter the center of the village, and uh, this, the, uh, because of the first, I try to just uh, try to make a simple uh, rectangular galleries, but in gradually I realize if I bring to the just a straight wall, it become very, appear very strong. Because of this uh, island, the, you see the very thin road, there are no car, so always the material is very small and light one, and will be connected uh, to make house. So that means that just a straight wall is very difficult. And the more the zigzag wall or the curb the, the, uh, is uh, easier. So that's why that this, in this uh, island, it's, this is more uh, gen generic. <laughs> and I decided to use aluminum, but it's come maybe third phase or fourth phase. Now it's uh, renovated very slowly, but the uh, intention is again the transparent uh, gallery uh, that reflect the surroundings and uh, you see the art with the surroundings, real scenery and uh, also the reflected scenery. And this is the uh, next uh, position. Here I use plexiglass. Two places all the, the, ho the both houses are broken, so I, I bring also, the, uh, I made this the factory and bring the small, uh, buy the small ship and small troco and to make this. This is uh, again the young Japanese uh, artist's work. It's a lens and to, you can see the detail of the existing scenery. And also this is another flower field. And, and you see the enter the center, you see the, you will feel the surrounding by the art, also you see the surrounding by the existing scenery. And this is a resting place. And then this is, uh, this also the good condition. Always uh, we started from this process and to check which material we can use now. And then this also, and then this is now this is completed, and then this is the last one. Also, this is uh, the good condition, so I used the old, the existing uh, 
structure. I add two big windows diagonally and to connect the different views. Uh, and next one is the Rubo. This is, it's not the canopy, <laughs> but uh, also instead of uh, the, to make a uh, one big shape, but we divided the five parts and try to adjust the, uh, this um, side as much as possible. This side has a lot of, uh, this remain the industrial uh, uh, memory. For example, the, the uh, Cavalier is a railway to be connected uh, the, the, this the old coal mine to the station, and also there is a shaft, or there is some, uh, also another, the cavalier, so that means the, uh, the, the, and also the site is a very strange shape, so, and also have some slope. And uh, not only divided five parts, also each one has column curve and try to not to touch the existing line as much as possible and also try to adjust the existing slope as much as possible. This is our trial. And actually this is one story, oh. Oh. one story building and looks flat, but actually here to here, almost 400 meter distance and more than three meter <coughs> level difference. So one story building, but uh, from here to here, the roof also declined, and also the floor has some calm slope, and not completely flat building, but try to uh, with connect it to the surrounding as much, smoothly as much as possible. And this is the entrance hall. This is the, the collection gallery. Uh, and this is a temporary gallery. And uh, this is a glass gallery and auditorium and office. And uh, you see that this curve, you cannot see the curve as a whole volume, but uh, it's very uh, idealized that instead of the just rectangular volume, it appear very differently, strongly different, and uh, to connect because I mean the normally uh, as a diagram divide a big volume to five volumes. That means that just a rectangular volume appear, but uh, just uh, and then to make flat building, it appear very diagonal. Di very abstract and di very diagrammatic, the appears. But here we uh, try to make slope on the roof and uh, also the floor and uh, try to adjust the existing topography or condition. We bring the curve and as an experience, maybe you feel very strong continuity to the surroundings and also use the reflective material because this site is sit the north Europe and the light come from not top but horizontally and uh, many cloudy days but still reflect very uh, brightly. This is a shaft and there is a beep entrance and this is the entrance, and uh, this is the entrance hall. And you enter, there are the many, a few bookshop or library or the lunch space or the cafe. And then this is the, so the, you see the function. And gradually you approach the collection gallery. And uh, also the inside, we use the same material and uh, Louvre's intention is because of the art came come from Paris, so they want to show different way. 
and uh, the natural light is very important for them because they don't want to make a space just uh, at looks uh, showing the old arts, but they want to have continuity to the contemporary society. That's why they want to, they insist, they want to show the art under the contemporary light. And also we decided not to use wall, but like island so people can walk in the kind of forest of the art. And uh, from along the time, you learn the movement and the civilization and also the kind of the you can the end you can feel the content the from the their collection start from four thousand BC and till now till and the middle of nineteenth and then but you can feel still the continuity to the now and this is, and always uh, the slope, also flower has a very calm slope, so gradually the, you can um, enter the, in the, for the art. And so the, uh, reflect the surroundings, this become on the uh, exterior wall. This is the uh, kind of the photo of the opening. <laughs> and the last project, which I like to conclude today, the lecture, this also the gathering space, I think, and the communal space, which located in New Canyon. And uh, now the under construction, it will complete in one year around. And the site is very beautiful area and with a very wonderful landscape as uh, so the rolling hills and pond and wetland and trees and we plan design this building uh, along the topography and this is a kind of this and a beautiful site and the highest, between the highest place and lower place, there are roughly 25 meter difference. And, uh, and uh, the sanctuary, the highest place, and then the, the gym. And there is a wetland, there is a 25 meter below. And this is the library and the dining and the gym, and also there is old barn you renovated for the classrooms. And these are the open to the public space where the client like to make a gathering space. And uh, so this is a perspective. Uh, the few spaces with uh, we say kind of a river, and we hope this appear kind of uh, nature and kind of uh, infrastructure for the people who can enjoy the nature whole season and also can spend the time. That this is the structure. So basically the flat uh, beam connected, but sit along the each position and will be connected and become some part, become three-dimensionally. Um, this is a gym, gym need height, so then the big one story and kind of like this, and this. And this is the dine and this space. Uh, uh, around the very beautiful trees. And this is the highest place that there is a multi-purpose space. Uh, this is the starting point to check. It's very difficult to find. 
and then this is the construction, and then each place, there is a gymnasium and entrance and dining and library, and the highest place is multipurpose space sanctuary, and it will be connected, and every place you can see the different view and also can have an experience of different experience to the this site and nature. And now this is, this is the sanctuary and then from the entrance you see the continuity and from the lower part also the gym and to the highest place and uh, this is the lowest place and uh, I we like to make a space very well connected to the nature and uh, I hope everyone can find some continuity to the surroundings. This is the, uh, it. Now the construction is going on and it will open next year, maybe September. Thank you very much. Hello? <laughs> okay, we share the mic. Um, you, you started uh, slowly, yes, yes. First of all, thank, thank you. <laughs> very easy, very easy. Uh, thank you, Sejima. It was such a, a great pleasure and such a, an amazing way to start the, the, the year um, for the students and for myself. Um, you started with the Rolex Center and the metaphor, the idea of the park, and you ended with this beautiful landscape. Um, clearly there's a strong uh, sort of integration between architecture and nature and the, the notion of environment. Um, I think this integration happens through the architecture. Um, and I'm, I'm curious because, of course, today uh, many architects and what we are trying to engage with in architecture schools is a, is a kind of um, engagement through technology and uh, um, uh, in the sense of uh, um, performance of the building uh, from an environmental standpoint. I was curious how you and your work negotiate um, the architectural experience of engagement and the performance uh, in terms of a kind of uh, approach to environmental uh, sustainability. How do you negotiate? When do you say, I'm going this way, and, and, and when do you say, no, architecture uh, needs to be architecture? And <laughs> I hope I understand correctly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, maybe the sustainable is very important, is uh, one of the most important maybe term uh, for from now also already. And uh, uh, for, uh, but uh, I think Today, especially the roof uh, helps us mm -hmm. to have a, to make a space shading, <laughs> because the before is a how more 
uh, building and uh, also many people said you use a lot of glasses <laughs> and then that is uh, and uh, so it, the sustainable, may, maybe there are many uh, meanings, but uh, also the energy issue, also the uh, so more, I think, uh, natural than before. We, now I'm thinking, we, uh, yes, yes. Uh, and more try to, not diagrammatic, but more uh, well connected and also also materials wise or the shape wise or, so this mm -hmm. is a kind of my trial uh, mm -hmm. to think about the sustainability mm -hmm. and also sometimes uh, the sustainable required architects ju just uh, one direction mm -hmm. but I think it is uh, wrong and also if think about the sustainable we cannot solve only one building uh, things if try to become sustainable it doesn't uh, make sense alone mm -hmm. i think yeah. and that is uh, so they understand yes, yes. I <laughs> no, yes, and I, I think it's interesting because in the representation, the last drawing, the trees were green and uh, for the first time uh, that I see in your drawings. Um, so, so maybe there's an interesting evolution uh, in the thinking. Uh, but if I understand your answer, it, you are really negotiating that through architecture, through the kind of elements of architecture, to quote. Uh, Rams, uh, um, and um, so in in that regard, in continuing, I was curious about um, from the beginning the kind of interest and almost obsession with thinness and uh, and what and transparency and this n not tra the, the dematerialization of architecture, the reflection, and if if you, I think you you. Your work brought thinness to a whole other level, which I think has set the tone for a generation. And I wanted to hear you talk about that interest. Yeah. Uh, still, uh, I, my intention is not to make just big, gorgeous, heavy building, but uh, I more now. Yeah, sometimes thinness or lightness also very important to have some continuity. But mm -hmm. uh, but uh, more, I think that before the uh, to have uh, the. Uh, for example, the relation with the surroundings, I always imagine only spatial way, mm -hmm. but after the doing the Louvre project or the Injima or the Home for All, I think maybe the environment made by the some time. <laughs> So I like to make some space uh, to connect mm -hmm. the time. Each area has own time. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is uh, now my, also the, so the interest is always the same, how to connect the, uh, the, the building is artificial things. And it's, uh, of course, it should be beautiful as artificial things, but also Maybe this, I hope this works mm -hmm. as a kind of, uh, I say, the gathering space, the how to make the space. Um, I think now more like, I hope, uh, kind of infrastructure mm -hmm. and the kind of nature or kind of uh, garden or park is uh, my image recently of the building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and where can spend the time and uh, also uh, for example uh, through the Inijima the, the beginning many people ask me if you uh, renovate the old house to the gallery the main, they use, believe many people come back but <laughs> I couldn't say yes or no but I now realize because before the population we counted how many people are living but Inijima used a very different way. So the weekday, for example, 40 elder people are living, but they move weekend to the children's house. Mm -hmm. And instead, the young man come to open the Sunday, Saturday restaurant <laughs> for the visitors. <coughs> or the one famous uh, theater open once a year. So the, they stayed 30 days for preparation. Mm -hmm. And so weekend, uh, the 100 visitor came. So this, for the once a year, the gallery uh, changed. So that means the 10 people are preparing to install the new art. So that means uh, we cannot say how many people are living that island. That depends the time. And uh, also that that island is very small. So the most characteristic thing is if I do something, immediately I can understand what I did for that island. Mm -hmm. So everyone can touch <laughs> somehow and can feel the relation between island and my, himself or herself. So this is so the now gradually I so I think anyway to continue using <laughs> is very important and uh, just uh, for future and then maybe I don't know the uh, sometimes no people are living every day but sometimes people come and then some social system has changed. 100 years later, something happened again. So anyway, <laughs> this is kind of the also, it's not the design, but this also, the, this activity, somehow gradually, I think, part of practice of architecture. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, um, um, yeah, so now I don't have a clear answer, but uh, I now, mm, maybe I'm very interested to make very beautiful one simple single architecture, mm -hmm. but at the same time also, mm, mm, doing uh, these things. Mm -hmm. So also I try to make for example, now in Jima, we are thinking to make next phase is not gallery, but to make uh, gathering, uh, sharing a dining kitchen. Mm -hmm. So the visitor can spend the time and can cook, but also elder man sometimes can use and can change the food. <laughs> or these things also maybe, and to make some program, so the people who come to in Jima also can do some small things. And then six months later, also they, people can notice what she, what he did. And but after someone continue, so for example, to make thin load by everybody, so the each one can join only two hours. But next weekend another one, this this this, and then. This. Um, well, I, it, I mean, it's quite interesting because um, you could also say that that idea of sharing and flexibility and a kind of time uh, share and negotiation would also be a way that architects could engage this question of, you know, quote unquote, sustainability, other than from a technological perspective. This, this sort of uh, idea of a multi multi use and transformation across time would be an architectural way to think about it. But I also when you said time I was thinking about both the Louvre pro project and the 
Inijima, Gal Inijima. Inijima. Um, there's a sense of engagement with the kind of question almost of preservation or um, history, which which um, is is feels new uh, a little bit. Um, but in that sense, I was also so I'm, I'm interested in that. But also, do you feel? Do you think of your work as very much inspired by a context, historical context, um, or, or 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 maybe more a kind of environmental context, or or both? Uh, and in particular, I was thinking about the bubbles in Sharjah uh -huh. and uh, um, the kind of striking uh, um, contrast. So, so the, the question of context in in your work and what part of context, if any, do you really sort of? Um, take inspiration and engage with. Mm, yeah, I'm very also interested in how to find the context from the each area. Every area, each place has own context and own character, which made by the the I mean time and uh, mm, this is a little bit uh, not logical <laughs> not logical but uh, mm. uh, I learned a lot from Inujima already I mentioned because until now I thought most simple generic things is just a straight line mm. so first I always try to make straight gallery mm. or also very mm. simple calm curve but uh, always uh, put the model and try to check and then very different from the surroundings. Mm -hmm. And I realized because of the, also the mm -hmm. plexiglass wall, first I just uh, defined the curb by the thin road, but this is very calm. So that stand the, this wall need eight meter thickness. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, People's body can notice, even the cannot see the thickness, but can feel very heavy weight. Mm -hmm. And bring the more strong curve, not fit the along the past curve, road curve, become half. So I think the the people's body that uh, can feel many context by body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cannot uh, see the thickness or cannot touch, but even transparent material looks sometimes very heavy and sometimes looks, this also that maybe people can understand this uh, transparent uh, panel can stand. That means something hidden, mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe. And this is uh, completely out of the much, much heavier than the context, uh, the weight which that area mm -hmm. has as a context. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the not straight line, the old houses made by the sm adding the uh, very small lines. Is that mean that cannot make straight, but more <laughs> like this mm -hmm. is more easy. Mm -hmm. So the total of the, these things, uh, the energy mass context is made, I feel. So this try to find this type of context. Uh, of course, visually or the regulationary, but also the each one can feel something by body. And this I like to bring <laughs> to the kind of new cons or some <laughs> Uh, practice. <laughs> I wanted to ask uh, about the Home for All project and uh, um, something that uh, Shigeru Ban uh, said, I think, in an interview recently about his uh, work, um, his kind of refugee um, building work. And um, he was saying that uh, students today feel a kind of a uh, real need for um, architecture to um, to have a kind of s renewed social engagement, and uh, I wanted to hear, uh, you know, how you thought um, about it, and whether um, you feel this kind of desire or or 
he, it seems to have become very strong for his work. I mean, just to say, certainly at the school, there is this feeling of engagement, uh, which has become quite important. And so it's um, inspiring to see um, architecture be brought to that conversation. We started because of uh, just a big disaster, mm -hmm. and we mu we thought we must find uh, and we must do something what we can, and we thought maybe to make some even the small place, but uh, maybe because everyone lost many things and should leave very small space and cannot find the sharing the space to talk about. So just we started, but we learn a lot. And the most uh, uh, impressive conversation, what I got that day, is uh, because through that activity, I learned that we can be involved to make own environment. Because now, especially me, Tokyo is too big, so I cannot uh, imagine, I couldn't imagine I can touch <laughs> my environment or just uh, I thought the city was is given but uh, they lost everything so then they said they can make themselves so they have a right to make by themselves and also they uh, it is a guilty also to be involved in uh, making the village uh, by everyone should so that they have opportunity to be involved to make the, uh, the kind of even small but the village. This is uh, until now I couldn't believe always I just thought it's a given and I must live in the city mm -hmm. and I must think about the part of the city mm -hmm. along the building but uh, I think uh, we should <laughs> and we can. <laughs> this is uh, I learned from their com through their conversation with them. Um, maybe uh, one, one, one or two more questions, and then we open. Uh, you know, I, I think as I mentioned in the inter introduction, you are one of the architects that has the most uh, striking um, kind of modes of representation. I mean people can recognize your drawing or your models or, and I think again, uh, thinking about uh, the, the students here tonight and the, um, uh, the kind of um, proliferation of same kinds of images. And I wanted to ask what does, um, do you find that your modes of representation have evolved and what is the feedback loop? I, I was struck by the green trees at the end and you know, can you talk about the role of, uh, of kind of how you, how you started to draw the way you're, you're drawing and, and how is that maybe evolving and that kind of relationship for, for your work? I do you saw that? Drawing. Of course, all process, uh, not only by me but always the, by group. And also, the, of course, the, today I show a lot of Sana's work, the final decision with uh, Liu e, Nishizawa. And uh, so each uh, uh, project, uh, the people the, who involved each project, uh, make a model or drawing and every time we discuss and then um, 
Gradually we say, no, 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 this drawing too small, too white, too white. <laughs> or you must use this color, or you must order this kind of not so strong <laughs> intention, but just a conversation and the study process. We go to some direction. And may, yeah, often, sometimes, brought new way by the people, the, not me, but not, also not by Nishizawa, but sometimes uh, to see some drawing and then, oh, then we move to the next uh, direction um, to develop more. The, so this process. continuous <laughs> process. Good, because my last question was about process, so <laughs> um, and this kind of collaboration and, and iterative um, process. Um, but um, maybe we should open up um, for a few few questions. You answered all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone now is just going to produce beauty for in the entire semester. Yes. Um, a question in regard, you started with the Rolex Learning Center at the IPFL, but it seems that you have been asked to do a few more university and you are becoming a specialist about this place where people can learn. And I think today architecture is one of the interface where campus are built, where people can learn things, but we also are being faced with a very strongly evolving type of interface through cell phone or smartphone, computer, tablets, etc. Um, it, it seems with this kind of invasion of new technology, your building has a tendency to almost disappear. You feel like the constructed interface of the architecture, the place of chance encounter and meeting, you are removing as much as possible walls, you are removing as much as possible facade, and as you are saying, you're making a very simple canopy. Could you elaborate maybe on this relationship between interface and learning between people and between people and technology in this kind of environment and how you almost erase architecture to provide this, this beautiful environment. Fred, are you suggesting that there is a relationship between uh, knowledge moving into the screen and the space of the iPhone and the demater dematerialization of Sajima's work? Well, she, she is uh, making, I mean, in the Rolex Learning Center, there's almost no wall. It's only a topography. So it seems that her environment for learning uh, is becoming extremely dematerialized in that sense. Just as maybe before library were very heavy, full of books, and now maybe it could be quite dematerialized. Um, it seems her architecture also become, or is very, very light and very minimal in, in the kind of structure of the architectural environment. Do you have classrooms? Uh, 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 but the learning center is not really library because they want to make a, the university like to make a space uh, and the see the, the uh, we must to propose to the competition the theme is to propose a new type of learning space. And uh, our answer is the meeting place. There are many people the, who learn the different uh, things, can meet naturally and have opportunity the communicate, to communicate. It's maybe the, the one possible learning space. But the, the actual learning center looks very simple, but 
define the shape or position of the uh, courtyard or the length of the facade defined many uh, uh, the engineers, the many people involved. The, of course, the beginning structure engineer, but also the sound issue and the temperature or the, so the many people, uh, engineers, def, uh, collaborate to define the final shape. So it's not so uh, simple, <laughs> maybe. And also, actually, the original uh, uh, structure idea is uh, almost half of the thickness. The many things happened become very thick. So actually, maybe some uh, uh, yeah, for us to achieve that slab is uh, maybe so many different things. So it is a kind of our goal, but actually the some architectural uh, critic, he knew the beginning of the pro of process and at the end he came and criticized. It's very heavy to take. And, uh, and I didn't think about, uh, I, I didn't imagine, but uh, once I heard he, and the original one is very thin, and maybe if really we can achieve this thinness, maybe also completely, maybe. Now, it's more, I think, the one reason mm -hmm. to, <laughs> little bit inside is very like a park, mm -hmm. but out, looks outside, it's very, <laughs> the block, boundary. Uh, uh, boundary, yes, this is one maybe. Mm -hmm. So the, mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, thank you for showing us the, uh, your works, the Sana's work in recent five years. And my question uh, is very simple. Um, for you, what is the biggest breakthrough of your, biggest? the biggest breakthrough, breakthrough. Uh, for you and for your company? Thank you. In, in the <laughs> recent five years. <laughs> どうやっていつもこうやってるか。ライキス。何が一番こうとかな。そうそう。うん。にゃ。オールイズ <laughs> 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 the uh try yeah the if the process of the uh, each project uh, through the process bring me the next <laughs> uh, process. <laughs> so <laughs> this is somehow <laughs> continuously. <laughs> There's no, no breakthrough for architects, you just keep going. <laughs> just continue. <laughs> Uh, hi. Uh, how would you position your design and uh, architecture within the whole context of traditional Japanese architecture? And is there a dialogue between your design with the traditions in Japan? Thank you. The, you ask the, my relation between the traditional Japanese tradition and my design? Yeah. Is there a relationship or is there a dialogue between? Mm. Maybe I I'm not so um, conscious. conscious, but at the same time, maybe because of the if Japanese architect imagine building thickness of the wall is like this, 
but European like this. <laughs> this uh, made uh, American. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is a very big influence already. The starting point maybe, and uh, also the relation the, between the the people to people or the yeah many things. Uh, when I was. Mm, the, uh, grown up in Japan it made a big influence to me. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I just wanted to ask about the uh, circulation. In many of your projects where um, that, that tend to be more or less one story, vertical circulation is experienced like a recreation of nature or almost like nature. I'm wondering how you uh, confront vertical circulation in uh, buildings where you have more layered floor plates, such as in the library um, that you showed, and also the project in Milan, the university. Thanks. Uh, circulation. The horizontality. Uh -huh. You start stacking. Mm -hmm. Uh, until now, I yeah more the many one-story buildings more than the floor plates, and but for example, you asking the circulation if building have more plates. Yeah, uh, depends. <laughs> But uh, in general, the circulation is one of the interesting points for me. And also, uh, always I like to bring a lot of possibility. People can select the, the circulation, um, depend on the situation. So, but... Uh, for example, Bezzarel, the, the because of the Topography, we stack many layers of the uh, floors, plate, but if just stuck, interior become very dark. So that's why we divide it and make some slit, and between slit, we add many staircase uh, to connect lower floor is upper floor. And this happened inside and also outside uh, between the terraces. But of course, the emergency staircase also in the core, <laughs> each certain um, the distance. So, and Bocconi, Milan, we don't have special circulation, rather more just people move horizontally, that is, uh, classrooms and offices and more we focus the kind of the, I mean, said uh, uh, portico is a ground floor and sometimes first floor also kind of the terrace, people can walk the, the half, uh, exterior half inside interior space with some reason. The, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, just just to add, I think that the, I think what's amazing about the work is it's, it, it, the interest in the section is not as strong as the interest in in the plan and the and the ground. So, so when we ask students to do sections, they should just you know <laughs> follow your your lead. <laughs> um, Hello. Um, in your projects, uh, one could see the strong acknowledgement for the ground that which on, on which you stand on and the ceiling, the sky. But uh, it, the concept of enclosure is like you do not acknowledge walls at all, uh, as if you're simplifying the simple enclosure even further. Do you have any uh, uh, specific description of 
enclosure, do you have any evaluation of the concept of enclosure in architecture? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But I think the definition of the space is uh, not only by word, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, the, there are many items and uh, uh, yeah, for example, I already mentioned the EPFL is uh, without the uh, wall, but also the slope of the floor or the ceiling, and uh, you can, yeah, for example, park also, you can find your favorite place or comfortable place without the wall, but sometimes you sit uh, next to the pond <laughs> or the next uh, under the tree, you can find uh, many different uh, space, nice space, I think. Mm -hmm. Or the some uh, on the slope. <laughs> Maybe one last question. It's so nice to see your work, Sijima san. It's really beautiful to see the. Um, the work of the last several years. I, I was really struck by your comment about the wall thickness between Japan and Europe. And the, the question is about um, your attitude towards permanence. Uh, because it seems like with European architects, there's an obsession that the buildings are, are permanent, that they last a long time. And uh, I mean, of course, I think with your buildings, they, they will too, especially uh, the Louvre and EPFL and um, 21st century. But, but it seems that you almost consciously don't want to make a, a big statement about permanence. The, the, the buildings are, are ones that are constructed very well, but you, you don't overstate the need for buildings to <laughs> monumentalize their duration. Is that something that you think about? Is that something conscious in, in the way that you design, that, that you don't want permanence to be so obvious? Uh, I no. I I mean, <laughs> I, uh, my intention is not <laughs> to make a temporary building. <laughs> 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 uh, but <laughs> uh, but also um, I don't imagine so much just to make a building who which stay forever. Um, but I want to make a space loved by the people and to used. Mm. But uh, hmm. <coughs> so. Hmm, very <laughs> interesting, <or> difficult <laughs> question, but, hmm. but maybe it also comes back to what you were saying at the um, about the interest in time yes, now. Yes, this, this is I'm thinking. Yeah. So this is uh, yeah. Of course the. From uh, many point of view, sustainable issue or many point of view, it's very important to be uh, stay very uh, uh, but the same time maybe also Japanese has sunk. <laughs> Custom, it's not sometimes not really physically, but still we can feel the stay <laughs> there. This is a little bit uh, some influence. Uh, 
maybe to me to think about the problem, <laughs> maybe. All right, yes, good. Thank you very much. <laughs>